Hey everybody, welcome to Ministry Modus. My name is Cornbread, and my co-host is... Hey, hello everyone, my name is Martin. I'll just keep it at Martin. Uh, Martin. Welcome everyone. Welcome everyone. So we here today uh, are very interested in covering a topic, what we would call the corporate church. And by corporate church, we generally mean church, any church or religious organization that operates in a very business-like manner, very much like a corporation. So uh, do you have any thoughts to add, Martin, about that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so like corporation, um, so a corporation, let's think of it as that big business. Um, and the primary purpose of a corporation is not just to make money, but it's to maximize profit. And when we apply this maximization of profit to a church, then we have a corporate church where for example, like a corporation, the goal of the church, a corporate church, would be to expand, expand, exponential growth, make as much profit as you can. And so that's what we mean by the corporate church. And we're also meaning as well, um, corporate churches, they invest their money into the financial realm. So we're talking about that stuff as well. So we're going to be talking about all of this today. Right. So basically, we are very interested in exploring the intersections of faith and capital, if we want to be uh, very short and sweet about it. We're very interested in seeing how specific churches um, are dipping their hand into like the stock market or their interactions with financial institutions, and to basically also suss out the potential consequences of that uh, unholy alliance, if you will. Yeah, I like that. I also thought in my head, too, you said faith and capital. I'm thinking in my head, like, capital faith. That would be a good, a good name for an investment firm that caters to churches. Right, which we will actually be covering <laughs> an example of that here in just a bit. So, hey, I'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. 